Okay, hello my friend and then I am planning to give pre-information when we are planning to replace this Ford Zetec engine's timing belt. And this timing belt is in now in my hand and this is like pre-information on this Ford engine because this engine is really interesting and there are different kind of things what we can use when we are planning to replace that timing belt. Okay, first interesting thing is that when we look that Ford Zetec engine is that that this camshaft sprockets what now I am rotating in here they, they are free to move and this makes this timing belt replace little little bit difficult because there is no any stoppers or brakes in these these brockets and that means that this when we install install this this timing belt back we have to fasten that central bolt in here this bolt in here really well because otherwise this sprocket is moving but this camshaft is not look and there's like idea that I take this my I, I rotate that my camshaft a little bit in here but then this this sprocket is like in same position can you see interesting because this bolt is loosened and first we have to have to fasten of course these bolts. This is first important thing that they, that they are moving otherwise all time. Okay and this is like Ford style and then there is second interesting thing that when we are installing this, this timing belt back we might we might we might need to set up this can set in right position and that's what they have made in here these lines and if we have just specific metallic plane this uh, metallic plate we can install that in in like in here like locking plate and in that way we can lock this camshaft's movement. And now I have this my tool. If we have 22 millimeter this, this uh, wrench, I can a little bit move that camshaft. And now look, now I am adjusting these points in like together. And first that one, and a little bit. Now, now this is in position, good. And then I rotate that another one in here a little bit. And now, now both of those, they are locked. And now this means that now when we look in here, those camshaft, they are not moving anymore. And in Ford, there is actually one specific tool what we can purchase in Ford dealership center. But this may be better than this my metallic plate. But this metallic plate works also quite well. And now when there is this lock is on, and then when I try to there is this movement position, now I can't rotate this because there is locking on. Okay, this was this second interesting thing, and then there is really interesting third thing. And this is also for this ideology and it means that now I need to I take now this my locking plate away because I have to go and look in the down array. When engine is in that position I need to now rotate that engine a little bit in down array. Okay, and now it's in down area and then when we look that engine now in here now it's in upside down we can see that in that area where is normally this drive shaft in that area this is drive shaft support support place 
when we look in that area, we can see that, hey, there is a small bolt in here. What is in that bolt? And we can open, it is 10 millimeter. I take my 10 millimeter tool. There is my 10 millimeter socket. And this tool fits in that part. And then when I open that, there is a specific bolt in here, in my hand. And this is like only lock bolt in here, because in that area I need to install then specific this Ford timing belt replace bolt. And it, it looks like this one. This is not the original Ford bolt, but there is just Ford bolt what we can purchase, and it is just specific length. This length is about something like that. And when we rotate this Ford or then this our own bolt in right way, there's one of these camshafts, these areas, look, in, in here, this first cylinder camshaft. There is very plain and surface. And it is made for contact point for that bolt. And now when I rotate that, this bolt came in, in that area inner. An idea is that this place, this plane, and then this bolt, bolt head takes contact. And then when they take contact, it is like this just timing belt. And now I a little bit rotate. This is my crankshaft, and look, this is so different, and there is no, none of any, any of these, these others. There is only one what is shape, and only one side, no, in here, this is like standard. And this means that this is like locking bolt, and then when I rotate that a little bit more, Soon, this my bolt take contact. When we look in here, inner area, in here we can maybe seen soon. Okay, now I have better view that we can look that area, and then this bolt area in here, and then I am rotating this my adjusting bolt in that way. And then we can see this idea. The third this bolt is coming. And then when I a little bit move that my camshaft, that this place takes contact in here. It is it I believe that it is just like in here. Then this our engine is like in this TDC top dead center position. Let's look. Now, now it's quite nice. We can look that another direction because here is very nice view that when these parts takes contact. Let's look. In here can we see maybe even better. Now we can see and then when I rotate the camshaft, it takes contact. Look, just in that bolt. And now this like locks this our timing belt. And this is like one part of this very accurate timing belt replace that we use that bolt. And this is interesting. Okay, but all of these are like pre-info and then we can start to replace this timing belt and please enjoy what I am next planning to show you. Okay, hello my friend, and then I am planning to show you idea that how to replace this Ford JTEC engine's timing belt. And here we can see that timing belt, and this timing belt replace, this is quite difficult. And please look this my informative video, because this is much more complex to do than like in Toyota. Toyota's timing belt replace because there are uh, three very bad uh, 
those three very bad places where we can do mistake. First, first mistake area is that crankshaft, crankshaft, uh, this crankshaft puller feel location because there is situation that there is no any locking this pin or locking place and that's we can we there is possibility that we can install that feel in wrong position this is the most bad least installation thing and then second thing is that when we are installing this camshaft these sprockets or if we take those away there is a situation that there is also possibility that we can install these sprockets in wrong place because there is no any locking pin or locking position and this is bad but if we manage to install these parts in just in same place and same position as they was and what was what was the starting point then this our installation it is okay okay and then I start to show that how to do this timing belt replace and we continue okay and first I like to show you that how I can take this four JTEC engines cylinder head cover away and it is just this part in here and there is really situation that then I rotate a little bit in that position that when we look that cylinder head cover there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve bolts and, and for that opening I need small socket what size is eight millimeter and it fits in right in that bolt in here in that in here and then when I open these bolts in that way I rotate and I open all of these bolts in here also and I have already opened those these bolts opens easily and also here and let's look in that array there is this bolt and then in that bolt in here and then in that bolt and then and now this all bolts are free and then I can only take my hands and carefully lift that and then I notice that there is inner area also some bolts and all of these must be free and now then, then there is a little bit something is now is open now this cylinder head cover is free and now it's ground okay. and there is then this cylinder head cover is there and then I can rotate also in that way and it looks like that and then when we look then we are installing this cylinder head cover back there is important that we need to replace that gasket what is in here in that area and, and we can take that old gasket so away that we have this sharp head spike and then when I install that my tool in here I can carefully I can carefully move, take that old gasket in that way away this is this old gasket and then I can install in same way this new gasket and it gasket goes in here and if you have any oil leaks like in cylinder head area you need to replace that gasket and the gasket goes in also in that area okay and this was this cylinder head area cylinder head cover cover area and this is really plastic this is plastic